Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Irvin. Rafael. Good evening, guys. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hi. Good evening. I guess I'm doing great. What about yourself? How are you doing? Is everything good? I'm fine. Thank you. Nice to hear. Is it me or your voice sounds a little bit deeper? Uh, I don't know. Are you feeling kind of sick? I, um, I, I have allergic. Oh, that may be it. Yeah, suddenly I heard your voice right. deeper <laughs> than normal. So I was like, wait. <laughs> deeper, okay, yeah. okay. Like a little bit like, uh-huh. Yeah, like deeper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. mass, mass, um, just different, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad you're fine. Mauricio, good evening. How are you? Hello. How's everything evening, going? Teacher. Great How to see you? you. I guess I'm good. <laughs> no, I'm better, definitely. So my health is getting better. Um, ah, what happened yeah. with you? I got COVID. <laughs> yeah. Uh, COVID. You have yeah. COVID? Really? No, like two weeks ago, yeah. <laughs> so when we started the module, so when we started, uh, I, I turned positive. Yeah, so I have had like really bad cough and, and everything, but I'm feeling better now. So oh, yeah, okay. I am definitely better. How do you but, say sequelas? You, I have sequelas or? Well, you can say symptoms. So like symptoms, you can set side effects, uh -huh. depending, uh -huh, depending on what you want to say. But I would say like the symptoms remain. Uh -huh. um, so okay. especially with COVID, a lot of the symptoms, it, they, re I'm going to write it here. So the symptoms remain. They stay um, with you for, mm -hmm, uh -huh. they stay with you for a long time. So oh, okay. I, I think that's very common with the headaches, uh, uh -huh. with the coughing attacks. What else? Uh -huh. or, or you have a, 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 a sore throat a, or dolor, dolor de garganta. Sore throat. Sore throat. Uh -huh. throat. I, I don't really have sore throat, but sore throat. Uh -huh. but I have cough. So I have some cough. coughing. Yes, I have. I still have like some coughing attacks uh -huh. and, and the headache. It, it's less than cough before. Mm -hmm. But I was trying to do exercise, you know, I was trying to run last week and I couldn't <laughs> yeah, because of the cough, but, but, I, but I guess I'm, I'm better now. So my voice okay. is coming back as well. So my voice is not that deep. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So my voice is coming back. Um, but I'm super glad to see you guys and thanks a lot for joining. We are just like three, well, kind of two days away from finishing the module. So it's like pretty amazing to have you. Um, Monica, good evening. Uh, Sylvia, thanks a lot for joining. Irving, I'm missing your camera, Irving. <laughs> okay, so when we finish, I have, When we finish the course, the this, We are finishing this coming Thursday. Thursday. Like in three days, yes. Uh, but how can, how can, uh, write you uh, to I have problem with the section three and uh, that I'm not complete that section okay. uh, take a screenshot or take a picture of it uh, send it either to the group or send it to me and uh -huh. uh, so we can check because uh, there was one specific exercise everybody was having difficulties I uh -huh. reported the exercise and I think it's fixed but just in case, probably it's just a, a structure, maybe a period, maybe an apostrophe. So uh, take a picture, right? Just to make sure that we are following you and post it in the group. And, and I'm going to follow it up tomorrow with support. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can do that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. So guys, uh, oh, I see like a lot more coming. Hi, Crazia. Good evening. Thanks a lot for coming. Francisco, thanks a lot for joining. I know you're not feeling well, but you know, if you are just a, a listener today for us, that would be amazing. Is your throat better? Are you feeling better? Maybe not. All right. Uh, so I see Maria Jose here. So thank you guys. Noemi, good evening. Great to have you guys. 
Um, today, guys, we are going to continue talking a little bit about working jobs. Yesterday, we were discussing some questions related to this topic. Um, so I have just for you like um, some decisions to make, all right, so you can give us your point of view with this. For example, take a look at this one. I want you to select one of the um, choices we have here. And of course, I want you to tell us why you chose that one. Um, so if you had to choose, for example, between a part-time job or a full-time job, which do you select and why? Which would you choose, part-time or full-time? So what is better for you? Full-time. I, I know that no work would be better, <laughs> but if you had to choose only between these two, uh, Rafael says full-time, okay? What about the rest? Hi, Enrique, good evening. Good evening, teacher. I consider uh, I prefer uh, I prefer full time for because I I can earn much money, but I prefer part time uh, because I have much time to to enjoy with my family, with a friend, for example. Okay, so part time because of uh, enjoyment and full time because of the money. All right, sounds really interesting. Guys, what about the rest of you? So full-time or part-time? Have you ever had a part-time job? I think full-time. Why full-time? Huh? Why? Why a full-time job? Uh, you have you have spent all the job all the the time working and uh, and finish finish the the day. Uh, doing the same, the same thing, working and and uh, when you finish that, you have to to time for your for your rest for your family or the uh, or the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. So you prefer a full time you job, earn more and you earn ah uh, you earn more in that in that way. All right, that's a really good point. So yes, uh, earnings are important. Uh, anybody else? What would you choose, guys? Part time or full time? I think I'm more into part time. So uh, I'm more like uh, millennial, you know. So uh, I think if I had the opportunity to maybe like make less money, but um, do something that I like in the rest of my time, I would prefer to have a part time job. So I work. In El Salvador, it's six hours. So I can work just six hours per day and then do something that I like or have a business or uh, be a volunteer in something else. So I'm more like into working less, you know, but enjoying more. So I agree with Enrique, I guess. <laughs> okay. What about the rest of you guys? So, Chris, a part time or full time? Me? Yes. Um, or me? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what would you choose? Crisia Muñoz or Crisia Malara? Oh, no, Miss Muñoz. Well, but but now, Miss Malara, that you're here, let's go with you. <laughs> no problem, okay. both of you, that's fine. <laughs> okay, I think that part-time is a good option, but... Uh, I think we are uh, hard work, hard work workers. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think it's better full time because you had more time working mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you had more money. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So full time job. That's really interesting. Okay. And Miss Munoz, what about you? I would like to have a part time. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I because I like to stay stay at, at home and hanging out with my family. Oh, okay. But if if you don't have a full time, mm -hmm. you don't you don't get more money, and. <laughs> That's the disadvantage. <laughs> but but if you stay at home, uh, you can get a sí, business. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, okay. Make yes. something for Aaron. Okay, like extra money, right? At home. Yes. All right. Yeah, I, like I, I agree with you. I like it. <laughs> Enrique, I see your hand up. I don't know if that was for, from like previously or you got like something else to add. Enrique? You're mute. No, teacher, no, teacher. Uh, oh, it was from before. Okay, no problem. So let me just. No, mistake. Uh, no problem, no worries. Let me just put it down. Okay, that's really cool. So, guys, what about the second one? Here we have like home office or inside work. What do you prefer? Do you prefer staying in your house, in your house, working uh, from your house, yeah, not interacting with people, or do you prefer to go to the company, to go to the office? and to complete your job uh, or your work or everything you gotta do from the company. So home office or inside? What do you prefer? I teacher, um, Hi. for me, I think the home office because I have, I've been having the experience to work in a part of my time the last year, mm -hmm. like in a home mm -hmm. office. So mm -hmm. me, in my case that I be a mom, I, I, I forget when you say me aprovecho el tiempo. Take advantage. Take so advantage. Take advantage. Mm -hmm. I, because at the same time that I'll be working, at the same time I'll be care my baby. So for me is more, you know, more for me like the home office, work from home. It's easier your life for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you will be at home. Do you, you know, take a bus in the morning and, you know, be a crowded city, in the traffic. So that is like a very, very good advantage, be working from home. Oh, okay, okay. That That's a really good point. So because you have babies and you can be working and you can be uh, taking care of your kids at the same time. Very interesting. Yeah, you, you finish your work, you, mm -hmm. you know, put put on the, put off, sorry, your computer or the whatever that you have for mm -hmm. work. And do you still care your baby or mm -hmm. do you still at home? You know, need to wait, you, you know, take a bus and game. You go to the to your house and all, you know, mm -hmm. the stressful, it, what is about talk about the traffic. That is like, for me, the real reason because it's, it's easier for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a really nice point. Guys, uh, so that is in regards to home office. What about the rest of you? Um, who is going to the company? Yes, Enrique? Teacher, I think home office is a good option because you don't spend much money, for example, in food and traveling. Mm -hmm. example, that's a good point, okay. And you can make other other things in your, in your house. Uh, mm -hmm. You, you can eat, you can make breakfast. You can be like yeah. working and cooking <laughs> breakfast at the same time. <laughs> okay. You don't need, for example, uh, uh, the formal uh, clothes. Clothing. Okay. Um, oh, that's but, a blessing. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. But inside work, uh, uh, is better uh, because you can relacionarse. You can relate. You can relate with other person, with other uh, other families. Uh, That's right. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's a really nice point. Anybody else? Yes, me. What? Do you, uh, yeah. What, what would you choose, Rafael? Um, inside work. Why? Why do you like to go to the company? I think you can interact with others and time is more effective for me. Mm -hmm. And I don't mix my home with work. Oh, that's a nice point. Okay. Yes. Uh, do, do you prefer talking to people live? Yes. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a human. And human uh, interaction. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, is good for your relationship mm -hmm. and you make good habits when when you have to go 
go out home. Okay. I really like what you said, um, that it's important like to split, to separate um, your working environment from your like family, from your house. That I think that is something um, pretty difficult, especially in home office. Uh, or we mix schedules and, and that's totally right. That's a really nice point. All right, guys, what about the last one? I don't know if you work full-time or part-time or if you work in shift, but if you had to select, oh, I'm sorry about this. So if you had to select between morning, working super early, probably to start working at four in the morning, 3 a.m. in the morning, right? or working late at night, like for example, to start working at 6 p.m. or 7 p.m., what would you choose? By the way, have you ever worked at night? Have you ever had a job in which you had to work at night? Never. Has anybody worked at night? Yeah, I, I work at night. I when I was very young. <laughs> oh, I okay. Worked, yeah, in, in um, it was in a maquila. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, in a uh -huh. factory. In in, uh, in a in a uh, zona franca. In, oh, oh, okay. How do you say zona franca? That is an industrial park. Free zone, in a free zone. Mm -hmm. free we zone. can call it a industrial park, like the ones in Antigua, Coscatlan, right, San Marcos. So the, those are industrial parks. Uh -huh. uh, factory is the beautiful name. <laughs> the bad name uh, can be uh -huh. a sweatshop. So that is like the Salvadorian way to, to call it the maquila, right? Okay. So yeah, so factory or sweatshop. Oh, what uh -huh, time? Was, what was your uh, schedule? My schedule was, uh, let me see. It was the seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. 7 no, p.m. No. I, 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 at nine o'clock, I, be, I began my, at nine o'clock and I finished at five o'clock. Five in the morning, five next day. Uh-huh. The night to, to five. It wow. Was, it was. Uh, terrible, I guess. Terrible, terrible. Exhausting. Uh-huh. And what time yeah. did you sleep? In the morning or in the <laughs> in afternoon? The in the morning. Wow. But it was it, it's it, if I couldn't I I couldn't sleep well. It's very it's the, it's difficult for me, and that's very and that's hour. It was very very tired. I <clears> think so, yeah. especially because during the day there is a lot of noise uh, because of the heat, because of the weather. So we cannot really rest nicely. Wow. Okay. So that was very yeah. tiring. No, at night the, the the people don't work, don't work the the same way. The same way. Mm -hmm. Don't work the same way. Uh -huh. That's interesting. When, they, when the, the time is very long, mm -hmm. for example, the, yeah, it's uh maybe five hours is that's okay, mm -hmm. but after that, there is a lot of uh, uh, incidents. It's, it's tiring. Uh, the thing the, is that. You are sleepy, I guess. Yeah, yeah. For example, there was a very accident, a work accident. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. I saw a lot of people that, for example, uh, some machines took the hands oh. or cut the cut the uh, fingers. And no, it was terrible. It was terrible. That's uh, uh yeah. You only, well, you only hear the scream. <laughs> You only hear the scream. Wow. I, I cannot you imagine to... that. I mean, obviously, people are super sleepy by, I don't know, like 2 a.m. in the morning, I guess. And working and not sleeping well is not a good idea. So, wow. Sounds pretty hard. Okay. Has anybody else worked at night? Have you ever had a night shift? Yes, Enrique? Teacher, I think uh, I prefer work in morning shift because uh, you don't have traffic. Um, oh. And I think uh, God helps he who rises early. I think this uh, is is true for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, okay. If you wake up early, yes, yes. Uh, I prefer morning shift. Yes. Okay, 
That's really interesting. So morning shift. That I guess that applies for most of you, right? Or does anybody prefer a night shift? I prefer morning shift. Morning shift. Why? My Why Cody? Job, my my last job uh, was 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 at night. Ah, okay. Yes, but my is. Is schedule or schedule? It's schedule, yes. It's schedule. Oh, was the 2 p.m. until 9 p.m. Oh. A little, no. It was like so, a part time. Yes. Uh -huh. And I prefer work at the morning. Mm, that's a good point. All right. Okay. So, morning, morning. Yes, Irving. I. I have worked in the morning and at night. What was your experience? Uh, pretty good, to be honest. Uh, the first job that I have, I have to wake up at 3 a.m. every day and go okay. to work at uh, 5 a.m. to 12 uh, oh, a.m. Nice. And the other one, um, we were studying networks, so we have to, to work very hard for that. So we started to work at 8 a.m. to 2 a.m. sometimes. Oh, but oh, 2, 2, 2 a.m. in the morning, you mean next day? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you, you like to both? Yeah. Oh, okay. Pretty interesting. Uh, well, the latest I have worked is actually up to 10 p.m. <laughs> so I like my job. It's not a part time, it's not a full time, but it's uh, like per hour work. So I work the, the time that I want to work. <laughs> so it's amazing. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say. I really like my job. <laughs> okay. So, guys, talking about like some vocabulary related to jobs, yesterday we checked a couple of words, but here we have a couple more that are really important. So, for example, we have the first that is resign, right? Um, so that is to leave one job voluntarily. When you tell your boss, look boss, I don't want to work here anymore, bye-bye. <laughs> so that is resign, just say bye, I don't want to be here, right? Um, what would be the opposite of resign, guys? Resign is your decision. What is the opposite? Fire. Fire, exactly. Mm -hmm. So what do you think it's better, to be fired or to resign? <laughs> I don't know, but it depends. It, it depends, you know, because when you are fired, it, that's it. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and you can get the I don't know how to say indemnization. Uh, yeah, you can get a severance payment. Uh, I'm gonna write it here. <laughs> so, severance payment, okay? Yeah, when you resign, severance how much payment. do you get? Do you have any idea? 50%? It depends on the years. It depends on the years, right? But I don't I don't remember. I, I don't know if it's 50% after two years or something like yes. that. Yes, Sophie, right. tell us. Hello. I Hello. Yes, I, I haven't heard your voice today. <laughs> tell us. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I it's okay. Because a man touched my trasero, como se dice en inglés. Your butt. Bad. Uh, bad. No, that's harassment. My butt. You Your butt. Uh huh. So, did you did you have a lawsuit? Did you start? Did, I'm gonna write the word. Did you start a lawsuit? So, lawsuit is like una demanda, un juicio. Did you start a lawsuit? Lawsuit. No. Uh huh. A lawsuit. You didn't. No, no. Oh. I only decide. I only decide. Be, um, all, the people don't do it. Nothing about that. Here in El Salvador, you can say whatever thing, but no one do nothing. No one defend. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about that, and I'm sorry to hear about that bad, you know, experience. Um, because I don't. Thing that should happen to me, women or men. 
So that is not, well, first, that is we, not legal. Uh -huh. That can happen. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that. That is called harassment. So I understand that is illegal, but but you're right. So sometimes laws don't do anything. Enrique says, lo dulce de la ley. I don't get it. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh, so. Love it. <laughs> ah, yes. I mean, I, I lost it, definitely. Um, so that is like when you go to court, right? And you take legal actions. So that is the part of resign. The next one we have is retire. So we retire when we are 60, 65, and you say, I don't want to work anymore. So I don't remember how old do you have to be in El Salvador? 60. 65. 60 for the men. 60 for men. For the 65 women. for women. Oh, 60 and 65. All right. All right. The next one we have is salary. You know what that is. And the next one is a sick leave. So sick leave is when you go to Seguro Social, right? And you are pretty sick. They give you some paperwork and you don't go to work. We can call it sick leave. Uh -huh, exactly. Sick leave or also you can call it doctor's leave. So I have a sick leave. I have a doctor's leave. I have a medical leave. Or in case of women, for example, when you have a baby, so that would be maternity leave. So we what? call it a leave. Be careful because sometimes we confuse the word with incapacity uh -huh, or something like that, or disability, and it is not the same. A leave what? is when you are sick. Uh -huh, so it's not other word, but a leave. Incapacity, what does it mean? Uh, the opposite of ability. So when you are incapable, when you cannot do something, uh -huh, but, but that is different from when you are sick. Mm -hmm. So that is a leave. All right, guys. So I have some questions that we can discuss, all right, related to work. Of course, this is just extra vocabulary because we can definitely use it. But I have some questions here that I think would be cool to listen to. Let's take a look at them. The first one is related to some stereotypes. Is it typical for men and women to have the same jobs in your country? What do you think, guys? Do you think that still there are some stereotypes in El Salvador? Are there jobs only for men or only for women? The other one says, do you think office romances can be successful? Why or why not? Some companies prohibit uh, or they ban like to have a couple in the yeah. same company, mm -hmm. like to have a boyfriend or to date somebody in the company. What do you think about it? Is it okay? Um, would you prefer to have an easy routine job, like something easy, right? Or a job in which you make a lot of decisions, a job that is demanding, or a job in which you have to do a lot of things and you are busy all the time, or something easy. What do you think? What would you prefer? And the last one, how important are clothes at work? Somebody said before, in home office, your clothing doesn't really matter. Um, but what do you think? Is clothes important? Um, do you think that a person has to wear formal clothing, a tie, a coat, high heels, or formal shoes in case of men? Or it doesn't really matter? What's your opinion on that? So guys, uh, we are going to discuss the questions. You don't need to write anything. Just discuss them, right? And then we are going to be sharing these. So you can take a picture of the questions and we can start discussing them. I'm going to send you to some groups so we can talk about it and I will be joining uh, the groups in a moment. So there you go. We have 10 minutes guys to discuss. So enjoy it. I think that they are pretty interesting. So you have a lot to talk about. Let's do it guys. Let's go, let's go.
For me, it's the pen of the profession. It's not typical. It's not typical. It's the pen for the people because the uh, people. you or have the a woman that um, do anything and another woman it doesn't 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 want doesn't want to uh, do anything mm. but i mm. saw mm. Uh, many women I that, that i get that people think that women are um, david they say mm. or Delhi. i don't know i don't See? know no <laughs> I don't know, but I got you. That's me. I'm weak. Yeah. <laughs> You're sick. I no, got no. you. Weak. <laughs> yes, because that happens when I said yesterday that the hunter, uh, I said to the mayor that I want a hunter. A boy hunter. No. You mentioned a bodyguard, but also you wanted to be a bunny hunter. Uh, bunny hunter. Mm -hmm. bunny hunter. Uh -huh. What is that? And the mayor said no because I am women. Uh -huh. And he me dijo que un carretón de basura que me iba a dar que que es. I think it depends on the boss. Ah, uh -huh, depends. It depends on the people, the boss, the opinion, and the women. The that, yes. Because uh -huh. I saw in many, in many enterprises that, that, the, that the woman works more than the, than the men. I don't know, but in... In some place, I don't know what I don't remember. Uh, the 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 bus can can I don't know how to say ask for I don't know how is ask for is como pedir. Yes. But, yes. Okay. But the the bus can ask for the ah. Uh, Pregnant, pregnant proof. I don't know. Prueba de embarazo. Ah, yeah. a pregnancy test. Pregnancy test. Oh. But ah, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's illegal in El Salvador. Yes, but, 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 but I don't know. It don't is know. illegal, but I have to be honest with you. I have applied, well, like 10 years ago, the first time I applied for a call center, um, after they hired me, after they after I completed the interview, the first thing they did was, okay, come with me. They gave me like a little tube, you know, uh, like a little container. And they were like, okay, we need to take your blood test and we need to take your urine test. So even though they didn't say, oh, I need like a paper to say you're not pregnant, they asked me to complete the urine test. So I think it's illegal, but I know also that they do some drug testing. So I don't really know. I mean, how can I say no <laughs> if I wanted the job? So that is the other side of the story. Oh my God. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, um, well, I see... I have saw uh, on Facebook that a woman got um, fired because she was pregnant at a call center. Oh, but that's illegal. <laughs> yeah, that is illegal. That is illegal because pregnant women are protected by law. If I, I don't know, I don't know too much about laws, but I think that if a woman is pregnant, she cannot be fired. Do you that's know anything true. about it? Yes, she cannot be fired. Yeah, right? Uh -huh. that, that's yeah, what I knew. Before, before it, it, it can or it, it can, 
Is it on the Código Civil? I saw. But in, in the salon? Uh, yes, but I'm doing it. It's, it's illegal. And it's illegal. But everything is possible. <laughs> so that is bad. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. That, that's, I guess, a reality. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, what about the rest of the questions, guys? Okay, the next one is, do you think office romance can be successful? Why or why not? No. I don't, well, I think no. I think no. I think it's no. It's a problem. Yes. Absolutely no. Why not? It's a problem. <laughs> we we it's haven't a, heard the rest of the words. Because if they, if they have a, a, no, if they... If they have problems, uh, they wouldn't have a good performance working. So it will be hard for the enterprise to have them both working in the same place. Oh, okay. That's it's a just point. in the movies, I think. Just in the movies. <laughs> I can be such a And in Mexican <laughs> soap operas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, oh, Veronica is asking about the question. So, Veronica, okay. do you think that, for example, uh, you can have a couple in your office? Is that okay? Is that a good idea? Is that successful? We haven't heard Chris, yes. And we Ooh. haven't heard Maria Jose. Tell us, girls, what do you think? I think Veronica is typing. For the yellow sea, teacher. Uh, For the yellow mm, That's a good point. Because they are toxic. Uh, I, <laughs> teacher, I think if it's a, a, big, a big company or a big factory, um, if... Uh, the woman is on 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 a different department. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, I think maybe oh. can be successful, but if uh, they are in the same department, no, no that way. It would be hard. Okay, crazy. Yeah, what is with oh. work? Ah, that's a good point. Okay, crazy. Yes. what do you think, girls? I. I need to my husband at work. Mm -hmm. and, and Wait, they, let me get that. So you met your husband at work. I lo conocí en el trabajo. Uh, yes. But, oh. but you left <laughs> the work. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> but I, I could. I tuve que dejar el trabajo. Ah, you had to resign. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, but, but, this, but, but this is interesting. So that is a successful romance. Well, yes, yes. But no, yeah, no. no, because she resigned. Uh -huh. <laughs> but no working together. Uh -huh. Okay, so now you're not working together. No, no, no. And why did you resign? Because the company asked you to resign? No. Or did you decide there? Yes, because oh. um, in this company, no, no estaba permitido. Okay, it was not permitted or it was not allowed. It was not, it was not allowed, allowed or it was not permitted. Okay. It was not allowed. And the bus, yes. And, and I say, I say goodbye. <laughs> okay, you you resigned. Okay, but that's I not see. that's a good example of successful yes. office robots. <laughs> okay, or yes. Fiesta. Okay, cool, cool, really interesting. I think the rest of the girls. <laughs> Don't worry, Veronica. That's okay. And some love story here. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm like, I'm waiting for oh, any love story any you want to tell story. us. <laughs> oh, continue. Yeah, because I don't think they want to share their their 
their stories. But Crazy, thank you so much for sharing that. That's really cool. <laughs> okay. okay. I think you still have two questions uh, to go there. Okay, so go. Okay, the... the... Okay. Is and maybe maybe can can affect the work with um like the in the sense that the environment in the environment is uncomfortable. I think. Why do you think about Mauricio? Mauricio, your microphone, please. Turn on your microphone. Okay. Your Sorry. microphone. Yeah. I think that's the reason the 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 the, the, uh, the companies have uh, the politic about that that they don't want relationship between worker uh, or employees because. Uh, can be can be a bad uh, a bad situation between another worker. No, uh, it's uh, uh, especially for for no. Well, right now it's a uh, it for women or for men, but it's uh, uh, I think uh, it is not it is not a good idea to to they have a couples or or uh, or relationship in between the workers in the company is is not is not good for for all the environment in the company uh, because always all, because always have, have sorry. A, sorry yeah sorry Morrison yeah uh, teacher can I can I have your permission to leave me now to celebrate a birthday in my house please Oh, that's yes. all right. Enjoy it. Yes, I, I have to. Yes. Thank that's you. Okay. No, Enjoy Enrique, it. no, it but you have birthday? to send us. You have to send us cake. You have to send us cake. Yes. <laughs> okay. or, or the picture. A piece least. of cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I enjoy it. That's all right. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. And See you then, tomorrow. Yeah. All right, guys. So I think you were like in question number two, right? Like office romance. Yeah, we are this discussion about that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right. Um, what about the last question you have there? How important are clothes at work? Um, do you think the clothes are important? Yes, very important. In what sense? Very important because you have to. Uh, dress to impress. Uh, no, so no dress to impress, but it's a, uh, it's, it's a. Uh, if you are working in a company, you don't. Uh, Sometimes is at for example, if you have a, if you go to the church, right now, you see a lot of people, with, I don't, I don't know. You have to respect the place no but sometimes there is it's a uh, a lot of people like to to llevar la contraria or something like that or mm -hmm. i don't know how do you say that they don't dress according to the place they don't dress according to the place some uh -huh. or in or are because can uh, you can have a bad, malos entendidos. Mm, or, a misunderstanding. Or to be, uh -huh, or to, or for example, but for example, it's a, it is a, a woman have, have a, a dress very short or very tight. So, and there is, there is a, a lot of the bad mind that, it can be le pueden faltar el respeto so okay, okay. no okay. that's Got I think for you. That, that for me that is very that is important to to have a a, a good dress 
-hmm. Okay. Or, or to dress according to the place where they are going, I guess. All right. Francisco, yeah. what do you think? Are you feeling better? Are you all right? Um, girls, what do you think? What are your thoughts here? Uh, for me, uh, uh, it's, it's important uh, mm -hmm. uh, formal clothes. Oh, okay. Factory, the office. Uh huh. Um, in in another uh, the 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 formal clothes. Uh, clothes is important for me. Oh, okay, so it is important as well. Gert, what would you say about that? Sylvia, Noemi, Jasmine. I haven't for heard Jasmine me, today. Yes. Teacher, clothes are important at work because wherever the job, we must be presentable and we must make a good impression. All the That's time. a good point. Okay. Yes, teacher. The most part of the employers ask a good presentation in in the uh, in the entrevista interview in the interview mm -hmm. uh, always is a a requirement and I think that is important but because mm -hmm. independent that the job mm -hmm. you have to to show that what kind of people are you? Because um, if you, like I say, if you go to your job uh, with the clothes and when it's not iron, mm -hmm. oh. I, think, I think I I I watch it that I say, like my mom say. Uh, vomitado de la vaca. Yeah. De la vaca. My and mother I, says something similar. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's very, very awful to watch that because you think what kind uh, what what is the mind in in the mind of the people in the morning when say I I I go to the yard with these clothes. I'm not going to iron it. Uh -huh. Yes, I I don't know. For me, it's not good. But mm -hmm. is but if you are in your house making mm -hmm. home office, I think that is not important. That in the the unique important is to be comfortable. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's a really nice point of view. I have never thought about it that way, but, but that's really good to hear. Uh, girls, anything else you would like to add? Monica is very quiet today as well. Jasmine is very quiet. Girls, anything else? Okay. Yes. In the case of the manufacturing companies, ah, okay. I remember that before they were more liberal with clothing. Oh, really? Uh, but the girls, abuse it and wore very short so very when short. when How you say, say short es corto, demasiado corto. like super short clothes yeah <laughs> okay. and extravagant blouses when you say extravagant you mean that they showed more like yes. they show the 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 bra for example the underwear yeah yes oh Okay. But a few years ago, they changed that due to this. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, that is a really good point that maybe companies in which they don't really have to talk to clients, they can wear whatever they want. But that is really interesting that they have used it. Ooh. Okay. I mean, uh, I have worked in some American companies. And for example, you can wear whatever you want, but you cannot wear the kind of blouses that are um, that expose, you know, that much. For example, you cannot expose your bra. You can wear shorts, but not, you know, extremely um, tight, for example, or not that short, or you cannot wear flip-flops, something like that. So. Uh, I am like 50-50, <laughs> so I wanted to listen to your opinion too, because uh, that's really interesting. 
Uh, but uh, in your case, Francisco, do you wear a uniform, for example? Guys, do you wear uniform? Mauricio, do you have to wear a uniform? No. No, no. Well, my, no, it's, uh, uh, we don't, we don't use uniform, but it's, uh, it is, uh, uh, you have to be, uh, you have to use, for example, uh, t-shirts uh -huh. uh, or saw shirts. Your formal t-shirt. Uh -huh. Formal, uh -huh. formal t-shirt, uh -huh. formal, formal. Pants? Formal, uh, pants and clothes. No jeans. No, well, no, the jeans only the Friday. Ah, okay. The jeans that... Friday, yeah. The so Friday you can be more relaxed. Relax. Uh huh. Oh. Relax. Yeah. Okay. Relax. No, no informal, but relax. Like more casual. Uh -huh. Yeah, more casual. Oh, yeah, that's okay. More okay. casual. Francisco, no, what about? Uh -huh. You know, it, it, I. It's a, I remember about uh, a friend. It's a, no friend, but it's a, how do you say? An, acquaint, an acquaintance. An acquaintance. An, an acquaintance. Well, an acquaintance. An acquaintance. A, uh -huh. He went he, in the United States. He went mm -hmm. at the interview, interview job. And you know how he, he were, he were, uh, he were using uh a sport or pants, sport pants mm -hmm. and tennis. And he went at the interview like that. Oh. And you know, <laughs> they don't, they lose the job because the company don't want uh, people to dress like that. So mm -hmm. it wasn't in, in uh, I think it was a sell for selling. I mm -hmm. think it was a for mm -hmm. selling, no? But the first impression, the, the first impression it's very important mm -hmm. so it's uh the people say no you don't you don't have the job mm -hmm. and the other the person uh, didn't have the profile or the uh -huh. or the appearance they need the appearance you know uh -huh. the appearance uh -huh. wow no, you okay. are looking you are you are you are uh, you are better to to job in a gym or mm -hmm. in a in a in a in a high school in a school mm -hmm. like a I don't know the deportes in, in mm, sports. Okay. okay. In sports. Um, Maybe so because of the way he was uh, wearing, right? So like, yeah. like uh, he was doing exercise or he was ready to do exercise. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really yeah. interesting. Really interesting. It, especially because I guess most of you work like inside. So like clothes is even more important. Uh, uh -huh. Girls, what about you? Uh, Silvia, Noemi, Jasmine, do you wear a uniform? Do you have a uniform at work? In, in my case, no. But how do you say gabachas? A coat. Coat. Mm -hmm. I wear coat. You wear in coat. my department. Oh. Do you oh. work in a pharmaceutical area or something like that? Uh, no, in a manufacturing company, but in the quality area. Oh, and you wear a coat. Yeah, a white coat. Oh, okay. Interesting, yeah. because that, that it's like a resemblance of a pharmaceutical area. Uh, yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it hot? Uh, no. The um, the material is is comparable. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. But in, for next month, uh, probably I I will I going to wear a uh gray coat a raincoat gray gray coat oh a gray coat yes. so they will change color uh, only or you will get a promotion or uh not promotion but i i'm going to start to a new a new program a new process oh and nice it's a requirement to use a gray coat Oh, okay. So I, I guess colors represent like departments or something different, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Nice. Sounds good. Uh, Jasmine, I saw your microphone was ready. Tell us. <laughs> okay. I don't work, but if I work, I will prefer to use a uniform. I mean, it, it could be easier for 
I mean, you don't have you to, don't have to prepare you clothes. Every day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. <laughs> so that is the point that with a uniform, you don't have to think about, oh, what clothes am I going to wear tomorrow? <laughs> so you have everything ready. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. I see. Francisco, do you wear a uniform? Uh, in my case, I don't use uniform. In my job, uh, I can I I can go to work uh, with uh, whatever you want. As for clothes, uh, that is nice. Uh, I I I I can go to work uh, with t-shirt, for example. <sighs> You don't uh, have a dress code. Uh, 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 that is I dress don't. Code. Mm -hmm. How are that? What, I'm sorry? what is dress code? Yeah, what like, is like dress un código, code? el código de vestimenta. So you don't have a dress code. I don't have uh -huh. dress code. Uh -huh. So that's better. <laughs> A thousand times better because you can wear whatever you feel com comfortable in. So nice. Guys, it was really nice listening to you, listening to your stories. Give me just a minute because time is flying, guys, and, and we are like running out of time. Hold on. Hi guys, thanks a lot for coming back. That was really, really nice listening to your stories, listening to your experiences. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for taking the time and sharing a little bit about your own um, ideas. I I'm still, you know, impressed with Chrissy's um, experience. So I was like, wow. <laughs> I didn't expect that. So thanks a lot for sharing that. Um, guys, just a little a reminder. We are finishing classes this coming Thursday. So eh, let me turn to Spanish. Um, los compañeros de, de administración nos hacían por ahí el recordatorio de actualizar la plataforma. So solamente les pido a quienes están quedando por ahí atrás eh, que actualicemos. Voy a estarle revisando el día de mañana y le voy a mandar un mensajito por ahí. Si alguno me hace falta, right? Los que ya terminaron, hagan caso omiso. So thank you so much for that. And nos vemos mañana, guys. Please don't miss it. Solo nos faltan dos clases. Two more classes and we are thank done. You. So thanks, everybody. Have an amazing thank night. You. Good night. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.